let's talk about your MSI claw. Oh How has boy. That been? Uh, it's been an experience. Let me tell you, I, I've, I've come to a lot what, of realizations. What have, you, what have you done on it so, so far? So, I haven't done much on it. Mm -hmm. I set it up. The uh, first thing I did was I basically, I just logged you out of steam and logged myself in. Let's back up. Okay. You had a steam deck. I had a steam deck. It almost immediately. Well, how long did you have it? I had a couple of months. Oh, it was yeah. my old steam. Deck. Yeah. I had it from like, what is it? November to like January, I think. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, then all and you sudden, were playing on it. Yeah. And then uh arkham night crash arkham, arkham asylum arkham asylum yeah. okay <laughs> arkham asylum should not have crashed yeah arkham asylum crashed and now it the whole thing just won't work at all yeah uh, it's very weird i've tried everything and it just the whole thing just doesn't work yeah uh so now you're using an msi claw yes and how's that uh so start from the beginning i all I really did was log you out of Steam and log myself in. I didn't try any of the other stores, fronts. I didn't like go into Windows and mess with any settings and stuff. I just did that. I immediately downloaded Arkham Asylum to see A, if it would work, and B, if it, if it saved my data before everything started uh, came crashing down. Download the game. We still have the Steam Deck with, that you're logged into. It, it, it turns right. on, so right. we can get it to get your saves. Right. If, if well... Maybe. To cut to the chase. Actually, no, we can't. I wiped it like three times. Yeah. So to if cut it's to not chase, there, it's no, <laughs> it it remembered uh, where I was. Okay. It's it remembered my save game. It was in the room I was last in before everything came crashing down. Okay. So everything I had done in the game, like uh was there up until that point. I had to do one more thing. I did the thing in there. No, I don't have to play Arkham uh Asylum again. But it it wasn't just download the game and start playing it again. I downloaded the game. It made me download a Windows update for that game specifically. That's interesting. And then trying to boot it from Steam kept crashing. It would not boot from Steam. I had to actually go into the MSI uh, UI itself and boot it from there. And that's actually, weird. Scratch. I had to uninstall the game, reinstall it, and then boot it from the MSI uh, UI. That's really weird because all the MSI UI does is open Steam. Yeah. But when you press the when you press the game on the MSI UI, it you see the Steam yeah, window it, pop up. Yeah, I see up. it boot up Steam and then boot up the game. Yeah, but for some reason I couldn't boot the game straight from Steam. That's really bizarre. Yeah. Maybe so. So when you had to download an update specifically for Arkham, uh, where did the update come from? Windows. It was like a Windows NT update. Interesting. Yeah. I'm wondering if MSI because like when you open a game up on Steam, you can set it. You can tell Steam to open the game up in weird ways. You can yeah. tell Steam, open the game up in windowed mode. Open the game up uh, at this resolution yeah. or something. I'm wondering if uh, that Windows update told the MSI claw, like like your launcher is telling it now to open it up yeah. a certain way in like some sort of safe mode or something. Yeah. But does the game run fine? The game, yeah, the, I eventually did get the game to run. Because the one thing about the MSI Claw is that it's Intel. Yeah. And uh, well, that's apparently, cut, could get a little weird. Cut to, I figure, all right, I did Arkham Asylum. The next logical step is Arkham City. So I booted up Arkham City. First problem, the game uh, said it was in full screen, but uh, it only took up like that much of the window. So, like, if this is the screen of the claw, Arkham City was, like, just in the top left corner. <laughs> okay. And Arkham City is an older game. So, like, first it has a, a boot screen, and then it launches into the game proper. And in the game proper, you cannot adjust the graphical settings. You can only do it uh, from the initial boot screen. Now, th th there were a lot of issues with the PC versions of the Arkham games. Yeah. And... Specifically it was Ar Arkham Knight. Yeah, yeah, it was evident around that time that these games were not made for the computer. They well, were a made lot of for games console. around that time were made for console and then just yeah. ported over and to that's, PC. And that's proof of that, yeah. is that you cannot yeah. adjust yeah. settings because why would you need to do exactly. that on console? So I, I figured it all out. Well, I didn't figure it all out. I figured out the screen issue. Mm -hmm. I got it. I set it to 1080p and now it runs at the right resolution, but there is still slowdown. There's a lot more slowdown than there was on the Steam Deck. I don't know if it's because Arkham City is a bigger game, but well, it's still an older game. What resolution are you running it at? 1080p. Now, the Steam Deck is not 1080p. Right. But the claw is 1080p. Yeah. You're going to have to lower the resolution. But the resolution <laughs> was lowered, and it was, in a, it was in a fucking corner of the screen. <laughs> that has to be 
a different setting. Right. It's got to be full screen 720p. Yeah, I might have to like just bump it down just a little bit more and play with it to to get it running at like a consistent. Like f- for example, I when I I test Resident Evil Four on everything just yeah. because it's one of the games that I yeah. have. Um, and Resident Evil Four, uh, this resolution can scale to whatever the monitor is. Right. On the Steam Deck, it runs great because it's 800p. Right. And on the Asus Ally and the Lenovo Legio and even the MSI Claw, it chugs a little bit uh-huh. because it wants to be 1080p. Right. But if I want to compare it to the Steam Deck, I got to lower the resolution to 720p yeah. so that it's a fair comparison. I did download, because uh, I have Resident Evil 2 and I have uh, Hellblade and a couple other like more modern games I want to try and like put it through a space. Because the Steam Deck just did it no problem. Yeah. So I'm going to like try the more modern games to see like how they handle it. There's a, still a lot like... The form factor is comfortable. Like I like that it's smaller than the Steam Deck. Mm-hmm. I I don't know how to program the back buttons yet. That's not really intuitive as it is on the Steam Deck. Yeah, I never tried. The the Steam uh the Steam Big Picture Mode launcher has like you see the Xbox button icon. So you press that to you know launch the side menu and stuff. There's no equivalent of it on the MSI Claw. So like I just keep having to press the the touch screen in order to launch the side menu. Yeah, I, t- I yeah I use the touch screen. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I thought there was a button. No, but I don't know what it is. No, there's two MSI buttons, one for like the launcher and right. then one for like the side menu. But there's no like Xbox button equivalent. Right. That that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I just said touch the screen. Yeah. So like, it's passable is what I'll say. <laughs> It's it's a passable experience. I think my biggest take again, I haven't had like much time with it, but I think my biggest takeaway of it so far is and this is this is my big hot take and my big PC gaming hot take. Can you play music on your computer? Uh, yeah. Would you call that a stereo? No. Okay. You just because you can play games on Windows does not make it a gaming machine. But but I would that, I would this is what I'll say. Uh, I, I wouldn't call this an MP3 player, right? But I don't have one anymore because I can right. just play MP3s on right. this. You it's, know? It, it's a matter of convenience. I think what my point is, you know, for all the faults of the Steam Deck, it, it was primarily used for gaming, just like how consoles, a primary focus of a console, is for gaming. When you start, you know, messing with something that's supposed to be a jack of all trades, like windows it winds up becoming a master of none you can optimize it as best you can but there's gonna be like little problems here or there that breaks the seamlessness of the experience are you speaking specifically about windows based handhelds or are you also talking about the steam deck i am more specifically talking about windows based handhelds okay i feel like my issues would be lessened on an actual full-size desktop yeah because i'll have a mouse and keyboard and a bigger screen to like actually hey, figure out what the problem is. You uh, have a dock for that computer, right? I have I have the the SNES dock for the Steam Deck. Well, but you also have the one for your yes. laptop, right? Yes. The MSI Claw, plug it in, you're good. Right. That's plug into that. that's currently in storage in the attic because I'm rearranging the office. Okay. But aside from that, <laughs> um, so yes, you're 100 percent correct. There are a lot of pain points in Windows specifically. Yeah, uh, there's some pain points with the Steam Deck there too, are as some pain we've points, seen. But I found that there were when it was working, there were less pain yes. points. It, it's kind yeah. of amazing how how yeah. they've been able to bridge the gap. And Windows handhelds are trying their best, but they are bottlenecked by Windows. Yeah, it's just it's just how it is. Yeah. Um. In terms of the MSI Claw, you have some extra jankiness because it's uh, it's intel based but you've yeah. only really seen that with uh the arkham games yeah uh and those are gonna be pretty difficult anyway um i would also say you might have less of a problem if you could just boot straight into big picture mode instead of having the msi thing come up yeah but you need that in order to play Arkham. Yeah. Because Arkham wouldn't run otherwise. I'm going to try it again with Resident Evil 2 because it's a more modern game. Um, and it, it was specifically labeled um, Deck Verified. Okay. So I want to see, like... That'll be fine. Maybe that'll be better. I did Resident Evil 4, and yeah. that ran fine. So Resident Evil 2 should yeah. be fine. Uh, but yeah, if you could boot the system and it loads straight into Steam Big Picture Mode, it'll mm-hmm. just be like a Steam Deck. But, I mean, uh, I thought the MSI launcher was fine. 
Yeah, uh, I think it's like it's passable for it's what passable, it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it had most of the stuff that I wanted on there yeah. anyway. But I also often found myself just closing it using the desktop anyway. Yeah. Um. All right. So you didn't have like a horrible experience. You still no. You didn't want to throw it out immediately. No, not immediately. I like you know, like I said, I'm still like I didn't get that much time to play with it. I'm still like messing around with it. I don't hate it, and I'm not. Again, I'm not like knocking the whole concept of like Windows based handhelds right. or like. You know, I still think PC gaming sucks consoles all the way. <laughs> but like the the point is like there there's still something to it. I just feel like the Steam Deck had it more down pat than what the other what the competition's been doing so far. Yeah, I would yeah. definitely say so. That that's definitely.